Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We broke our fast just a few hours ago. We're in episode three of hashtag LNT. Uh, and I hope everyone is having a great night because, you know, I'm having a blast tonight. Um, but episode three, that means though the, there are 27, 27 days to be exact from today until Eid. Now that means you guys have 27 more opportunities of having your name placed in a draw to win a free trip to Karbala. And who doesn't want to be coming to Karbala free of charge? You know, nowadays everyone's like, oh, I can't come to Karbala because it's too expensive. Well, here's your opportunity. To get a free trip to Karbala, all you have to do is participate in tonight's episode and in the episodes coming up, 27 more chances. But we're trying to kick off the episode tonight, right? How are we going to do that? We're going to do go to what's trending and then we'll be back to continue our episode let's roll welcome back dear viewers hope inshallah tonight I'm, I'm i'm looking a bit sporty i'm not wearing the suit um you know uh, which, which we're trying to break that uh that rule of you know going live with the suit and stuff uh you know hopefully we look fresh tonight we do, alhamdulillah. Because tonight, uh, we're trying to talk about what comes after being fresh. Uh, but we'll get to know a bit later on. But uh, for what's trending, um, another shooting happened in Centavie, um, USA High School. Centavie, uh, Centavie is a scar. Uh, Centavie is a high school. Uh, anyways, but um, another shooting happened in, in, in the U.S. Uh, where many students uh, were uh, injured. But Dakota Schrader, a student says, I was in the history hallway. Now I'll quote what she said to the public. She says, uh, I was in the history hallway and as soon as we heard the alarms, everyone started uh, leaving, uh, following the same procedure as a practice fire drill. And next thing we know, we hear three gunshots, loud explosions, and all the teachers are telling us to run. Now in 20 weeks into 2018, 22 shootings have occurred in the United States. Now that's tragic, which means for each week there's more than one shooting per week and when we're in only five months. And this is the, the, the picture of the suspect. This guy, what? How old is this guy? I, Wow, I mean, this is high school, so you'd be like, what, 15, 16, 17 max? Wow, the government really needs to have this thing under, have this violence under uh, control because we don't need more um, citizens losing their lives, especially students, the future of the country. We don't need um, more students losing their lives, but all uh, our wishes uh, and the condolences to those who have lost their lives in that incident. But what else is trending? The media is going crazy over the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markel. They're going crazy over that wedding. You go on Facebook, you see, oh my God, I want to see what dress is she going to wear. Baba, calm down. It's only a wedding. Legit. <laughs> you know, I, I, my wedding didn't look like that. You know, I'm not as important as them, but come on. Really? I mean, and, 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 and plus, I have a question for you guys. Why am I not invited to this wedding? You know, hashtag LNT and its crew and its management needs to go. And, and it's, it's tomorrow, so you guys still have time to send us some, you know, a quick invitation. You know, I make sure that the guys here, uh, Hassan Alaq, Ali Maytham, uh, you know, these guys know how to light up a party. An Islamic party, of course, uh, so we can take them there as well. Uh, the guys know as well, but you know these guys are specialists. Anyways, that's for what's trending. Let's go and uh, and check out uh, tonight's topic. Why don't we go and do that? Once again, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to episode C of the special series of the special Ramadan series of course hashtag GLNT presented and hosted by your one and only your favorite man um, Ahmed Ali sitting right here in front of you 
coming into your life from the holy city of Karbala. Now, tonight's topic, we're going to be discussing a topic considered to be too scary um, to be discussed by the majority. Now, we all can agree that everything has an end. You know, from your tuna can to your deodorant um, to your car engine um, to basically everything. Everything has an end. There's an expiration date that has to come similar to human beings. Human, as everyone knows, we started off from the two things combining each other. We're not there yet, guys. Uh, two things combining each other. The sperm and the egg. When these two combine, they make the human being. And at the end, that comes up. No, no, put it back on now. That comes up. <laughs> that comes up. Uh, and when that comes up, it's death. There's the end of life. Uh, now, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in the Quran, everyone, every soul shall taste death. Death is one of those things that, you know, we humans try to ignore. Try not to even think about it. Um, that's why a lot of people, when, when they do think about, uh, you know, what if this thing happened or the other thing happens, if, if I get, you know, God forbid, in, in a car accident, you know, if I don't survive, if I get this kind of disease, or if someone actually does have a disease, may God forbid, and may God heal those who um, have an illness, they're scared to even think about death. So they try to use other things to calm um, their minds down and not think about death. Um, sometimes it's unfortunate because we are trying to look forward uh, for what's next because death is something that's uh, you know it's 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 not you can't dodge it you can't go around it uh, there's only one straight path uh, to go uh, towards heaven uh, inshallah everyone reaches that destination but it's a huge thing that a lot of people are trying to ignore however we must not neglect it because it's happening to all of us whether we like it or not I mean God forbid imagine that your friend uh, or a family member God forbid is laying there on the deathbed in front of you and he's saying his last wishes or his last words you're gonna start asking yourself you know will I see him again what will happen to him after this you know is, is, is this the last word or will he breathe the last breath and then just you know vanish from our sights you know we won't see him again those questions pop up in your mind as um, you watch a close person to your heart die. Now that's what brings us to tonight's question. I know tonight's question or tonight's topic is a bit depressing and a bit uh, may trigger some you know, emotions uh, for the viewers. So do, we do apologize in advance. Uh, but this topic is very important for us. Um, so that brings us to tonight's question. And tonight's question in three. Oh my God, they even beat me today. What happens after we die? That's the question for tonight. That's your question for tonight. You can participate by calling plus 964-774-067-1836. How are you going to dial? says right there. Open WhatsApp, dial the number shown right there. And uh, you can give us a call and let us know what you think will happen to us after we die. Are we going to go into, um, what, fairyland? I don't know. Are we going to go into paradise? We don't know. And 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 uh, remember, when you call, when you call, uh, we have everything prepared. This bowl right here, um, we have about 11 names in there. Uh, whoever calls, whoever participates, text message, um, video message, um, Instagram post, or comment, Facebook comment, we are live on Facebook. If you send us a voice message on WhatsApp at that same number, any sort of participation, your name will be written down on these slips right here. Give me that camera right there, yeah. Yeah. On these slips right here. Yeah, see that? On these slips, your names will be written here and placed in that fishbowl um, for us to, you know, at the end of Ramadan, go through them and pick out a name. To win a free trip, to Karbala. Now, enough of me talking. Let's take a very short break. We'll be back very short. All right. 
welcome back dear viewers uh, we are receiving a few Facebook comments people are you know um, they're, they're, they're dying for that um, uh, free trip to Karbala and if I was away from the shrine I'd be calling the show every single day telling my friends and family to call in because you know um, if, if I love something for me I love it for everyone else uh, that's just me because I, I, I love I love giving um, but uh, we're about to go uh, read some comments out loud, uh, but let it load because the internet here is, is, is a bit um, lagging. Anyways, it's slow. Anyways, now, um, we do remind everyone once again that we are live from the holy city of Karbala. Any participation where you participate in the show, um, call, message, text message, uh, voice message. Uh, we just received a text message from... Khadija from Tanzania. All right, let's pop that message up. Uh, technical difficulties, okay. So, death in Islam is the end of worldly life and the beginning of afterlife. Death is the separation of the soul from the body and, it's tr and it transfers from this world to the afterlife. Imam al Hassan will surely visit Imam al Hussein. Sorry, Mama Hussein will surely visit our graves. Thank you very much, Khadija from Tanzania, for joining us uh, tonight and letting us know what you think about tonight's topic. Now, uh, Khadija. Khadija. Khadija from Tanzania. Let's get that right there. Let's get that right there. Yeah, Khadija from Tanzania. Your name is going into the ball right here. First name for tonight. Anyways, back. Thank you very much, uh, Khadija, for joining us. Now, back to tonight's topic. The internet is a bit slow today, so we'll, uh, the comments will pop up soon, inshallah. Uh, for those that anyone that does participate on Facebook or Instagram, um, uh, your names, only the live comments will be placed in this ball right here. Anyways, back to the topic. Now, um, the topic of death as we'll continue and you know for me I love the two aspects when we're talking about uh, any topic we're talking about um, if we're talking about death it branches into two categories two parts number one we have the scientific approach and then number two we have the religious and both of them of course uh, you know that's why uh, I'm, I'm the host of LNT you know I'm an expert in both uh, that's why you know no it's the, it's the stuff Allah we don't want to boost myself a lot but anyways um, it branches out into two we have the scientific and then we have uh, the religious uh, we, we don't have time to go through all of them uh, but we I, I will go through uh, uh, the, the main aspects and I'll give you an overview uh, of what both uh, contain now we'll begin with the scientific aspect now the scientific aspect of death as I mentioned branches out into two the first one is the clinical death um, where the body uh, you know, you, 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 you've breath the last breath, um, and then the your organs will also um, start. Will, will continue to s pump blood for almost four to six minutes. Now, during this stage, your organs remain alive for that period, and then after you'll just die when there's no oxygen or blood flowing to the brain. Now, the second stage is the biological death and that's uh, that takes almost um, depending on how you um, take care of your body it, it, it's, it's where the cells within your body start uh, to degenerate so no more cells are being generated no more uh, blood is being pumped by the heart it's not getting anywhere that's why uh, we see a lot of um, um, times that where, where you know after 12 hours of uh, the person is dead you'll see his whole body turning white sometimes you see red um, uh, bruising all over their body red purple bruising all over their body their skin starts to change because there's uh, all the blood goes to the lowest point um, of the body now a process uh, you know and, and, and unless um, a person or, or the doctors um, keep the body fresh in a refrigerator even then uh, bruises might still show up on the body as well now a process called 
putrefaction, putrefaction, sorry, happens after the bacteria um, tactic eats through the abdominal organs, releasing rotten smells. I mean, even when they say that, even you know, excuse my language, you know, when 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 the body dies, uh, still gases pass through. It's a, it's it's not it's it's a sad topic, you know, but. Uh, Gases pass through the, 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 the holes within the, when the body, so uh, smells do exit the body. Um, so uh, th 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 there's a special term for that. We don't want to get into that. But anyways, uh, that smell attracts bacteria, where the bacteria comes to the body and starts to uh, eat it. Uh, almost 60% of the bacteria eats the body, and then maggots come in, and then you have the worms. Uh, you, you know, 60% of the body, of course, is eaten. And then you got the worms, you got the plants, also the plants feed off your body, uh, you know, and then, wow. You know, uh, the, the remaining parts of the body, you know, for, for me to talk about it, you know, uh, for me, every time I talk about something, I imagine it, and right now I'm imagining a lot of things going through my head, especially if you watch movies. Um, now, this, uh, it's, 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 it's disgusting. Uh, it's scary at the same time. But imagine how much a lot of people put attention to their skin, they take care of it so much. It's a good thing. It's a very good thing. You know, a lot of people even bath in, in milk, uh, you know, uh, thick milk. But ev even to that, um, people need to think of the future uh, and take care not only of their physical body, but of their spiritual body as well. But let's take the opinion of the expert um, who has joined us for tonight. Hussain al Romaithi from Canada. What happens after we die? Well, uh, I'll let you know once I come back. <laughs> but uh, kidding aside, uh, this topic is actually um, funny to me in some, uh, in, uh, in some ways. Uh, I've read a lot of opinions about. Uh, metaphysics, ontology, cosmology, and all these sciences that deal with the question of being, existence, reality. Um, for, for instance, uh, is existence a property? Do uh, physical properties actually exist? Uh, the notions of space, time, matter, and so on. And uh, there is a huge disagreement among scholars. And uh, for example, one of the main questions of uh, the universe <laughs> the, of, of everyone why do we exist what's the purpose of creation uh, scholars still uh, are differing upon it uh, when you ask uh, any any scientists why do we exist they would try to either give you an uh, evolutionary answer or if you speak to uh, priest a rabbi or sometimes to some imams they would uh, give you answers that are uh, not absorbable, if you know what I mean. In a sense that they would give you a religious answer that cannot be actually easily absorbed. Okay, I see what you're saying, but what's the rationale behind it? Uh, but however, this is this is this is what I uh, try to tell myself and tell whoever asks me this question. Although I'm not a full expert in this in this topic, I would say, does something exist beyond death? I would say yes, and the reason I say that it has to logically something has to exist beyond this world, regardless of what's the purpose of life, what's the purpose of existence here, something has to exist beyond this world, beyond this life, beyond this existence. And it must be connected to our existence in this world. Whether it's, it should be uh, regarding consequences, consequences of our deeds, of our actions, of what we have done here, or it should be connected in a way that actually, uh, may, as may some uh, some have said, some have uh, have suggested this actually, that. Uh, it should be an infinite continuation of this world where some people say our physical entity actually would be 
uh, would actually be resurrected uh, uh, in the hereafter. So therefore, uh, these physical properties, time, space, and matter, would actually be transported to that life, and uh, then uh, we would be in an infinite life, uh, which also actually automatically connects that life to this life. Uh, therefore, I I uh, I say to those who decline to acknowledge the existence of another life after death, I would tell them, you haven't been able to tell me uh, a lot of things about this life, and there are still disagreements and uh, a lot of debates regarding some of the simplest concepts of this life. So how do you expect me to actually accept your opinions about what's going to happen after life? It's something that no one has seen, no one has experienced. And I know there are some stories about some individuals who have had uh, beyond life experiences and they come back, they tell us about the, this passage, this white light and so on. And I'm not trying to deny those things. And I believe they are actually real. They, they have seen something which actually proves our point. But um, all of these details are not conclusive. Therefore, I, uh, I say that when someone tries to deny, like completely deny that concept, it actually brings a smile to my face. Have a good day. <laughs>
of after death, there has to be a place where a person goes through before they end up in heaven or before they end up in hell. Um, and, you know, I don't know if God can help those who, um, those going to hell, but, you know, they made their own choices. But anyways, uh, we have received, we have just received a text message from Zakia from Norway. It says, after death, uh, there is no chance for doing any good deeds or undo misdeeds. One thing one can hope for is Allah's mercy. Absolutely true. Thank you very much. Once again, Zakia, uh, who joined us yesterday as well uh, in tonight's episode. But we will write her name uh, down. Zakia. Zakia. Zakia from Norway. Uh, let's get that on the cam right there. Real quick. Real quick. Right there. Zakia from Norway. Great. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. We'll read a few comments out as... Uh, we have just received a text message. Uh, we'll we'll read that after this. Uh, we'll we'll read that after we see what we have on uh, now. Uh, Intifada, she says. Intifada Bashir, she says. Death to a mu'min is sweet, cause it's the beginning of uh, delight, a break from this horrible temporary life. When we die, it's a new life beginning, and with the grace of Allah, it will be the start of a better life. Intifada from Tanzania. Intifada from Tanzania. Let's. Intifada. I don't know if they had an Intifada in Tanzania, but looks like they do. Intifada means um, it's 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 an uprise. Um, so Intifada from Tanzania, right there. Okay. Now, um, now let's get to Islam. The Islam, Islam's view of what happens to us after we die. Now, also uh, in Islam, we have a lot of uh, we we do share the same ideology with other religions as well. And afterlife, there is a, a place we're called the Barzakh. In Barzakh, the body goes. And if Allah Subhanahu, if this person has done good deeds, has has helped the poor, has helped the orphan, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will show him mercy. In Alam al Barzakh, but at the same time, just like Christianity, a person may face difficulties in that place. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can reduce his sin, remove his sin before the actual day of judgment where everything comes down to. Now, we shouldn't actually fear death, my dear viewers, because we should welcome it, because that's uh, a believer who should welcome death. A believer should welcome death. Um, I don't know if we're ready to die yet, but you know, inshallah, Allah knows when to die. And just the last narration, I, I don't know when, when I will die, but you know, th there's one thing, there's one narration that says, give sadaqah, give charity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will prolong your life. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. This is Ahmed Ali and hashtag LNT. Thanks everyone, the cameraman, the playback crew, everyone, everyone. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.